All right. Okay, Pam. We're going to put this down there. Start out with Photoshop. Today we're going to throw a border behind a picture so that you can uh, make your photos look a little bit better and nice. All right. Go to File. Uh, I'll tell you what. Um, let's say someone... Uh, Let's say someone sends you a picture, okay, and you scan the picture. It'd be better that way. Yeah, there's Justin Bieber. I was messing with Donnie. That's, I know. I don't have any pictures of Justin Bieber on here for my pleasure. Um, anyway, <laughs> let's just say like this this uh, girl with the shot block right here. Um, you scan a picture. It's on your computer. Here it is. Here's a couple ways you can do it. You can take the photo and just drag it right into Photoshop, like right on your Photoshop tab there. And if you do that, it'll automatically pop up, ready to go. It's pretty much in there. If you want, you can see how big it is. Now, you said you, okay, you see how right here I have it in inches. You said yours was in pixels or something. If you right-click, if you hover right over it and right-click on yours or double-click, I'm sure it's right-click. You can set them for whatever you want. I got mine set to inches, okay? So anyway, now to see what you see this right now is a 9 inches wide by 13 and a half tall and you can get those exact dimensions by going to image, canvas size, and there it is. It's in inches. That's exactly what it is right there. So let's say it's too big. Obviously it's too big. Um, I mean, that's a pretty big photo right there. What we could do is you're, uh, you know, I don't like to work with these locked layers. So what I do is I just command J which duplicates the layer delete that layer now I got an unlocked layer I hit the letter V on my computer and it gives me the move tool which is just that right there you see if I hover over it it'll say move tool letter V so anyway what I can do is I can go ahead and shrink this down I can do that now let's say we don't want to do that let's say I'm gonna go back let's say you got a certain size you want to work with let's say your size should, needs to be because it's probably going to be more of the case where you you have a certain size that you're working with that you need it to say B so what you do is let's say your size the size that you need the picture is let's say it's 5 by 8 okay let's just say now what that's going to do is you see it says right here the canvas is smaller than the current canvas size see as you can see all we did was the picture still big we just all we did was change the size of the paper that it sits on okay see I'm gonna go back okay I, I undid that canvas change I'm gonna turn this layer off right here I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom, out, zoom out a little bit when it says canvas this is what it means I'm going to turn that layer off right there. That's your canvas. That's the size of your image right there. That's your canvas size. The size of your image has nothing to do with that. Because you can make this image whatever size you want on this canvas. Okay? Just right now it happens to fit. If you take a photo from Finder and drop it right into Photoshop, it's going to make the canvas the exact same size as the picture. I'm going to say that again. If you take a picture from Finder and drop it into Photoshop it's gonna make that canvas the size of that picture that's just what it's gonna do hold on one second. The white two, absolutely.
Absolutely. Yeah, we, we do do we do a lot of on the way to. Um, B should be back here in about another fifteen minutes or so. I'll have her call you back, Michael. Okay. I appreciate the phone call, sir. Thank you. Okay, I'm back now. Sorry about that. Okay, so what we're gonna do? You want a specific size, okay? You got a specific size you're working with, okay? So let's just do this. Let's delete. We're gonna delete. We're gonna start a new canvas. Don't save. We're gonna file, go new, and you want your picture to be ten, or let's just say five by eight. You can leave that resolution at 300 if you want. It, that's that's really high resolution. It takes a while to do things with it. Um, let, let's just make it 72 for right now, okay? Okay, now what I'm going to do, here, this is the size of the image that you want in your eyes. Total, total size. Now you come over here to your finder. You got the picture they sent you, which is this one. You're going to drop it in there. Okay? Boom. Hit enter. Now that picture is in your 5 by 8 canvas. Now you want to put a bold border around it. So we're going to go ahead and hit that. Hit shift. Hold it. You know, keep the right size. We're going to put it right in the middle. And if you want, you can really make this in the middle if you'd like. All you do, I don't like these lock layers. I've said it already. I'm just going to copy the layer because it's a white layer. I'm going to delete that lock layer. Now it's the same layer. Anyway, I'm going to hold it. See how we got the box here and the box here? I'm just going to put a crosshair here and a crosshair there. And then now if I click, see I'm right now I'm highlighted on the background copy. Now I'm going to click this layer and I'm already pretty centered. I'm going to go up a little. See how that? I'm going to just put it right in the middle. Now we know we're in the middle, right? I can take these away now. Okay, now I want to put a border on it, so let's just go to uh, Safari and we're going to do type in borders, images, and we're just going to find a border that may work with what we're doing. I'm going to grab some hearts here. What's up, Delo? Don't hold on, I'm doing a video deal right now. Just Give me a minute. You got something you need to say or something? Yeah. Okay, look. I like this one. We're going to copy that image. We go back. We copied it. We're going to Facebook, Photoshop, um, Command V. Okay. Command V is paste. You don't even have to do that. I'm going to go back and get file. Or go to edit and hit paste. Hit paste and the same thing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put it behind the photo. See, I put it underneath her. Now all I'm going to do is turn her photo off for right now so I can see, because obviously I can't see what I'm doing. So we're going to turn it off, got my move tool, and I'm just going to open this up. And it might not be perfect, so I may even do that. Maybe do that, a little bit of that, hit enter, and now I'm going to turn her back on, and there you go, looks a little better. Of course, I'm sure you can find a better border or whatever you want, but that's just how you're going to do it. And you can make, I mean, of course, if the border sheet, you can move her in a little bit, and there you go, and you could even turn the border a different color. I mean, let's say, we, let's turn her off, right? Let's say we're going to select that layer right there. And let's say we want to make that all the white in there green or something. Hit select, color range, select the white, hit OK. It selects all the white in there. We're going to hit delete. Now we're going to go to fill, color. Let's just, let's just make it blue or purple. Boom. Deselect. Nah. Not doesn't look too hot, but you get what I'm saying. That was a little fast, but all I basically did was highlight that select, the highlight the layer that I wanted to work with. Deselect. 
I'm highlighted on that layer. Select color range. I want to select the color. I want to work delete, which is the white. Hit OK. Now as you see all the ant lines. Now I'm going to hit the delete button. You can't see it because they got a white background behind it. I'm turning it on off. See? And then all I'm going to do is now I got all those ant lines. I'm going to fill in all the ant lines by going to edit, fill, color. There you go. And I already, already had it set to purple. So deselect, command D, and there you go. Look, you want to change some um, some text the other day. I'm going to hit the text tool. All right. Let's say I got a uh, shopblock.com in here. All right, and you you said something about you want to learn how to change the color of the text without, you know. Anyway, look, if you want, highlight your 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 layer, double click on it, color overlay. See, and then you click here, and you could go through all the different colors you like, red, whatever, and there you go. Hopefully, this worked out for you, Pam. Hopefully, oh, one other thing I want to show you real quick. They got what they call displacement maps, which are really cool if you want to wrap an image around something. Um, let's watch uh, the displacement map. Okay, like you see how, like right here, you can wrap the image that's behind it across something. Like I did this once. Like they they're about to wrap that British flag around that chick right there. Uh, there's one in here. It's really a really good tutorial. And she got a tattoo. Okay, hold on. I don't see it. Hold on. That's really cool right there. That one's really cool. Hold on. It doesn't take long to do it. Watch this video real quick. And this guy, it's a very short video. Yeah, but uh, real quick, watch how he does it. See how he's putting the. This is just some of the effects you can get from it. See how he did that? Really sweet. So if you want to wrap an American flag around a war hero, that's how you do it. But let me show you. There's a. That's not a very detailed. Um. Hold on. I was looking at the video this morning with Dad. History. Oh wait. Me on her account. Oh man. What is this? I don't care. I don't care. Hold on, Pam. Just no, no. Okay, that is not it. Hold on, let me see something. Uh, That looked like it, but that's not it. I cannot believe it's it's not here. It's, it's a very popular video. Oh my goodness. And right there. Here it is right there. This guy gives a really good in depth on how to do that. And basically I'm just gonna kinda go through it quickly. You can watch the video, you gotta turn the image black and white, and then it pretty much you lay that displacement. 
over um anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna email you the link share copy and I think I got you in here okay well I'm just sending it to dad Ice the blonde at gmail.com. I think that's him. Displacement map. Alright. Alright, Pam, hopefully that worked out for you. I am uh, going to turn this off and good luck. Call me if you need anything.